Hello YouTube, this is Christonian here and we are playing another Indie Showcase. Today is Windward. Windward is an action-packed sandbox game set on the high seas from Tarashian Entertainment. And it is available on Steam for PC, Mac and Linux. The link will be down below. Players helm a ship sailing the blue waters of beautiful procedurally generated world. Three separate skill trees allow gamers to upgrade and customize their vessels to specialize in offense, defense, or support. Gamers can focus on exciting naval combat against pirates, NPCs, and other players in rival factions. Or opt for a relaxing gameplay involving exploration, trading, and diplomatic missions. Windward can be played as a MMO or a single player gameplay. Okay, now let's jump on over and get into the game. So player name, Christonian. Campaign world, Indie Showcase. Allow friends to join, hmm. Yeah, we'll leave it open, just in case someone has it and they want to come. Come and blow me up live on on the screen and you guys just laugh at me. So here we have challenge, combat damage, pirates. So it's just basically how the world is going to play. Uh, limit item stats, allow player ships, and perma battle. So we're going to go under factions here. You have six factions. You have the Valiant known as pride themselves on strength of its fleet and ability and willingness to engage in hostels. We have uh, the consulate, uh, maritime consulate or just consulate, to most people is an organization that values information above all else. Uh, Sojourn, when the job involves locating caches of mineral resources, recovering vessels lost at sea, or anything related to faraway travels, no other organization does it best. Uh, the exchange. Exchange values one, only one thing, gold. Their ships carry more gold than any other organization, and it is often said that without the exchange, open trade wouldn't work. I'm assuming. I can't see the rest of the description for some reason. Uh, syndicate. Syndicate can rarely be found uh, operating out in the open. Their tactics can seem brutal and merciless to some, but they simply protect what is theirs. And Aquetas. Small shadowy group of truly elite members are as rare as they are powerful. It is rumored that each captain supporting their orange pene has an entire fleet or something like that. So it has requirement 150 up. I don't know what that means. So you get 50 plus a thousand reputation right off the get-go. 50 reputation as the exchange. 50 as that. 50 as that. Um, so we're going to focus on combat, so we're going to be these red guys here. I like this one because it looks like a phoenix. And... Aha, I can change it. So we're going to call it... Phoenix. The phoenix Rising. And we have red all over the place to cover the blood. Okay, gonna jump into game here. And the world is 9x9 nine nine right now, and you can go as big as 33. Holy moly. Let's go 13 by 13, seems like a uh, decent one. Hmm. Now, what did we choose? We chose a red, eh? Oh, it changed the whole faction's name to the Phoenix. It didn't change just the name of the boat. Um, I was thinking, let's go to this gold area. Because we know they have gold. Might be a terrible uh, decision. 
because we might be in constant combat, but we shall see. We shall see. WASD or hold the left button to navigate. Invulnerable. Oh, my thing's gold now. Did I join their team? Maybe I did. Huh. The graphics are uh, really nice. The uh, water looks spectacular. Let's go fishing. <laughs> Actually, I was think I'm supposed to go back there and get some quests, so I'm going to do that first. Because i got to pick up some people. The Nah, level 4. Crystonium, level 0. <laughs> Storm is coming. Should have been paying attention, Christonian. Alright, so I believe... There we go, quests. None available. So I came back here for nothing. Aha! We did find another city, though. So we must have got some information from this, eh? There's one straight south of us. Sail south, she says. Sail for diamonds, she says. Mighty fine ship you got there, Christonian. <laughs> Bumper cars. Okay. There we go. So ferry some people to Lebenford. Hunt down a pirate. So let's do that one. Uh, there are rumors of an uh, optimistic pirate known as Myrto roaming the waters near Suffer. Oh, this is close. And are willing to pitch in and pay for someone to hunt them down. Uh, bonus, defeat enemy along the way. Take a detour to take another commission first. Avoid defeating enemies along the way. Hmm. So it says 13 experience, 71 gold. Uh, I think that's stone. Stone, maybe iron. And, uh, four wood. Okay, so we got that quest. Discover a town. Take longer than ten minutes to complete. Okay. And... We could ferry some people. Oh. And... Deliver... See, we can only do one thing at a time. There he is, right there, probably. <laughs> Holy. Too close. pummeled here. We're on fire! But, looks like we have some support. Hopefully this will still count as our kill. <laughs> yes, it did. So that's why I said I was surprised that we got that quest as it was so close. Okay, so we can uh, press R. It'll cost us 12 wood. Let's see what happens when we talk to the city first. Uh, oh! Hmm, so it's a different captain. So it might be the crew of the other uh, team. any more uh, things. Yeah, so right now we have Captain Bentuk. 
82 experience. This guy has 80 experience, but no accuracy, less armor, but his mobility is 14. Hmm. Grizzled crew. Yeah, I guess he can get a cook. Okay. Cool. Oh, we got a whole bunch of things on the map now. I wonder if I could just press M. Yeah. So, Nashton. So, two of those places are on there. But let's see. Discover Ashleton. Or Eshilton. Eshilton. That's the other way. That was the first town we're at. So, let's go do that. Full sails ahead! I'm assuming this white line is probably where I'll get max speed. So I'm just kinda... <laughs> Fur is mighty expensive! Yeah, I almost crashed into you, man. Ta-da! More experience. Achievement! One more quest. I got uh, 25 and 56 uh, gold in experience. Right click for more... There we go. Because I'm not going to keep them because I have uh, too much stuff already. Let's go north. Up here into uh, this guy's territory. Let the sails bellow, and hit that morning wave with such speed. Welcome, Captain. Sightseeing trip, uh, discover Saphir stealthily. I have already have met that place, so I don't need to discover it stealthily. And let's do uh, passengers. So we're going to do passengers and pick up cargo. Oh, you can only do two. So, I'm uh, sending some passengers and discovering that city at the same time. And I believe it's the same one. Yeah, it's the same one we've been to. Nashermer Castle. Oh, so I guess we get to see whatever they find. So there's Linden Bedford or whatever. So if I ever see any missions, I know where to go now. So that's kind of cool. You actually discover what your faction discovers. And if you check the map out, you can also see where pirates are uh, occasionally, if they show up on the map or not. We should have probably went to uh, the slightly out of their range, where it's like 33% uh, discovered by pirates. Braided sails. I think we might have got some quest items there. Or upgrade to our ship. Ah. Oh yeah, that's what we got. 110 experience, 10 accuracy, 10 uh, armor, 8 diplomacy, 11 haul, 11 mobility, and 2 to 3. Hmm. So this guy we might actually keep. And we're going to put braided sail on our ship also. Hmm. Not too good of quests. We're not too far from another town, though, so I'm gonna take advantage of that. So let's put him in as captain. And where do these sails go? Probably right here. There we go. And then we can talk to them again. Ooh! Get crazy amount of experience. Gain... Experience new unlocks uh, new that'll let you obtain new skills. Oh, that's because I'm not talking to the town. Huh. huh. Maybe I can't sell it because it's the basic. It's like, yeah, how you can't sell a sword sometimes in RPGs. I don't know. We'll see. 